I'm going to show you how to beat Emerald Arm Mantis, Black Myth Wukong, Chapter 6. So I'm going to go into Cloud Step right away, and then I'm going to build up my three focus points. Um, just make sure you time it right when he's not about to jump away. You're going to get in a lot of damage while he's going for your decoy. Next up, we're going to go and use Immobilize, run on up and complete a full set of light attack combos to finish it off with that big slam at the end. Now when he's down to 75%, that's going to kick off Phase 2. Now I'm currently level 95, my stats will be at the end of the clip. Now during the mid cutscene, your cloud step should be ready. So get ready to use your cloud step, and this is what you need to do while you're in cloud step. Okay, phase two, we're going to use cloud step straight off the bat. And then while you're in cloud step, you're going to cast a pluck of many, and you're going to use the fan spell. And that's just going to push him right against the wall. Now when that happens, just run right on up. I'm going to use my most powerful spell, Mad Tiger. That does increase the damage as well while you have it equipped. And just complete another full set of light attack combos, and he's done. Stick around for my stats. Okay, currently level 95. These are my Kurios, although I did take damage, so the golden button didn't do much. Uh, the Tiger Tally and the Beast Buddha did help with that crit damage. All gold armor. Here's the Mad Tiger, increased maximum damage, the fan, vessel, and this is the staff that I'm using. Alright, so these are the relics that I'm using. And of course, these are the stats I've invested in. So I've got the stamina build there with the martial arts. There's your smash stance. And I've fully upgraded the immobilized cloud step and pluck of many. Hope this guide helps. Nice and quick. Really hope to see you all next time. Thanks for watching.